The Jurassic Park franchise is full of dumb sequels that nobody wanted, and that's why we have gymnast spin-kicking velociraptors Vince Vaughn, and we very narrowly missed out on getting dinosaur-human hybrids. But luckily there's one dumb sequel that's actually kind of awesome, and that's why today I want to talk about Jurassic Park Rampage Edition for the Sega Genesis. Jurassic Park Rampage Edition was developed by Blue Sky Software and published by Sega for the Genesis in 1994. A sequel to the very well-received original game on the Genesis, Rampage Edition has you once again playing as either Dr. Alan Grant or a Velociraptor in an attempt to escape from the death trap that is Jurassic Park. For Dr. Grant, the story begins with the helicopter he was escaping on crashing and him finding himself once again trapped on the island. I think this is kind of bogus because it implies that Hammond, Malcolm, Ellie, Tim, and Lex all die, but since this is a dumb video game with no bearing on the actual canon, I guess it's alright. Anyway, Grant now has to fight his way through the island in order to escape via boat. This time around though, he has a whole army of hired in-gen goons to contend with in addition to the familiar assortment of prehistoric predators. Luckily, Rampage Edition totally understands what paleontologists are, and arms Grant with tools like shotguns, machine guns, tasers, and rocket launchers, in addition to a dart gun with unloaded ammo. He has to fight his way through six stages, with the initial three playable in any order, and the latter three unlocked in a set order afterwards. Grant will fight his way through a cargo ship, savanna, aviary, ancient ruins, river rapids, and finally escape from the T-Rex at a waterfall in his bid for freedom. As the raptor, you basically just run around and kill everything as you try to escape on the same ship Grant is gunning for. You play the same stages, just in a different order. You can collect lysine crates which fill up your rampage meter, which, when full, will make you invincible for a short time. I love Rampage Edition because of how dumb it is. I mean, Grant's helicopter crashing not only contradicts the book and the movie, but it's also just super lazy and just an excuse to get him back on the island. And for some reason he has to fight in-gen guys now? It's so dumb, but I love it. I mean, come on. Shooting down a helicopter with tranquilizer darts? That's super dumb. In-gen guys and dinosaurs not attacking each other so they can come after you? That's super dumb! Riding a Triceratops through ancient ruins and crashing through walls? It's so dumb! This stuff is all so dumb, it's awesome. Why does Jurassic Park have ancient ruins in it though, anyway? But honestly, the best thing about it is that it all just works. It's a simple, dumb action game, but it all comes together really well and it's a lot of fun to play. The shooting mechanics feel good, and having so many weapons in your arsenal keeps things from getting repetitive. There are lots of enemies with different attack patterns, so it's not like you're fighting the same three or four guys over and over again. Considering how little thought went into the premise of the game, it's surprising to see so much effort going into the enemy designs, but it's very appreciated and is definitely the big draw of the game. The controls are a little loose, but they work well once you get used to them. Aiming your weapons is easy, and there aren't many tricky jumps, which wouldn't be a problem anyway since Grant has some of the maddest hops I've ever seen from someone who digs up bones for a living. I really like the level designs too. They're really large and expansive and feature a good amount of visual variety, and checkpoints are scattered about enough to keep you from having to redo too much if you bite the big one. The savanna level even lets you ride a Gallimimus through the entire level if you want, but honestly it's a whole lot easier to just hoof it on foot. The spectacle of the game is also really impressive. It's all kind of action movie stuff, like a sinking ship and shooting down helicopters wrapped up with dinosaurs all over the place. The final escape from the island when you need to ward off a T-Rex is also really awesome and incredibly tense. The game looks great too, with detailed backgrounds and some really impressive lighting on the River Rapids level. The black outlines around character sprites make everything really pop against the game's environments, and the animation is really good. It blows the old game completely out of the water. I can't even go back to the original Jurassic Park on Genesis after playing this because it's so much better in every way. There's none of the janky animation or collision detection, and it's just a much more polished experience. It's not based on the movie, but let's be real, which Jurassic Park games really follow the movie anyway? Oh yeah, there's a reason I haven't talked about playing as the raptor much. There's not really a whole lot to say. You run around and kick dudes, whip them with your tail, and generally cause mayhem. The coolest thing is that you can do flips and that's super dumb, but holy crap, it's awesome. 
It's not really as fun as playing as Grant, because you take a lot of damage trying to line up your attacks, and some of the platforming you need to do on the aviary level is kind of frustrating. Basically, it's just more fun to shoot stuff as Grant. But now that I think about it, I'm kind of surprised this game didn't give the Raptor a gun, because that would be super dumb, and that's kind of what this game seems to be all about. Now, like every game I talk about, Rampage Edition isn't going to cost you very much money, with a loose cart running you about 5 bucks, and a complete inbox copy running you anywhere from 10 to 15. But just be aware that it's going to be hard to find one in decent shape, because it only came in those really junky cardboard slipcovers. And I've had mine since I was a kid, and the only reason that it even looks half decent is because I have it in a box protector. Jurassic Park Rampage Edition is really stupid on paper, but it works out surprisingly well. While it's a cash-in on the first game's success, it exceeds it in every way and delivers a fulfilling, fun action game that's sure to satisfy people who just want to shoot dudes and dinosaurs at the same time. The Raptor mode is disappointing, but everything else is way better than it should be. You can easily beat it in a single sitting, but it's satisfying from start to finish. Be sure to grab it if you see it.